this is going to be a little short story and I guess it's pretty funny it's pretty funny for me and I guess my, no it was pretty scary so it was just a normal middle school day you know just like eighth graders waiting to graduate and go to high school and we had this annoying advisory teacher that I'll call five but why five scribble juice well, because our teacher had a really big forehead that was popping out. It was like almost a 4D movie. I came up with that name because <clears throat> the only way I drew him was drawing a number 5 and then finishing it off. And it looked like him because of his forehead. Okay, back to the story. So he let us out and it was just a normal day. School ended and we are about to get home and be tired and lazy. But little did I know that it wasn't a normal day. <sighs> what a great day guys it's so beautiful outside it's beautiful to go outside we are outside we're all outside everyone is outside even the world is outside the world is outside the universe no what am i saying the world is inside the universe and the universe is outside but the universe is the universe itself whoa whoa what are you saying perla what is this i, I can't understand this knowledge Come on, guys. I just want to go home and read my books. Can we just leave? Ugh. All right, guys. We found a dip out of this school and go home. Like, what else are we going to do? <laughs> so it was a bunch of yelling teenagers in a gang trying to beat up this one kid from his school. And I think they said that whoever has the same uniform as him will also get beaten up. So we were safe. But I didn't see anyone with the same uniform as a kid get, like, attacked, so I guess he was the only target. So I was just standing there, like, just like, uh, what's going on? So my strong and beautiful amazing potato was like, Come on, what are you doing standing there? Get your head out of the clouds! This is a whole gang fight! We fun to leave! So she grabbed me and we both had to run for it, because we don't know what's gonna happen. What if we get hit? It almost felt like an anime. Like she was saving my life. Nani? So scared. So we were running away and there was a bunch of boys behind us and I think they were involved with the fight. They ran faster than us and in front of us was Emily because she ran away first. It looked like Emily and the boys were running together. <laughs> so we made it out alive out of the schoolyard and the guys that were running next to Emily went the opposite way from us. And we had to catch our breath, you know, reflecting on what just happened. <laughs> Fast forward the next day, I went to my TV and checked out if there was any news about the gang fight in front of my school. So basically, they sent the kid to the hospital because he got beaten up badly. And there was no arrest. Nobody got arrested for what they did. No one got caught. How crazy is that? That's basically it. That's that's the whole entire story. It's nothing too dramatic, but it was pretty crazy. So the moral of the story is... Whenever you see something, don't say something. Just run away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There is no moral. Hey guys, check out this amazing fan art from some amazing people. Totally not copying Tony V tunes. But really though, I love seeing fan art. It's so, it's like, makes me so happy. You don't know how happy I get. I'll be like, <coughs> I, I, I got nothing else to say, but thank you all. For subscribing watching these videos you know supporting me true fans you know what i'm saying i kind of need you guys to do hashtag scribble juice fan art all right that's all i need to say thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a beautiful day okay bye